I'm Kirsty Scott and this is news from Stirling Council. The province charity of the year, Stirling Young Carers, held its first ever Young Carers Conference this month. The event was organised in partnership with Stirling Council and was held in the council chambers. We spoke to some young carers to find out more about how the service has helped them. We all attend young care groups, so we get support through that, meeting people who are going through the same difficulties as us. We also attend days out like cinema or residentials and most of us are going to London in a couple of weeks as one of our residentials. They've basically gave us support, um, like we've got something what we can do. So basically I never had my first day, I never knew nothing about it at all. And they got somebody in for the British Red Cross Army and to pass their first aid certificates and train us what to do on an emergency situation. They also teach us life skills, so like CPR and stuff, but then they also, we got given just random ingredients and we got told, make food out of that, go. So <laughs> we just had like, you do learn life skills of like cooking and stuff as well. Which yeah. really good. Like, don't be scared to ask, because I know a lot of people don't think they're young carers, even when they are, and you just need to, as if there's anything slightly, you just need to ask, because it could be you're doing a huge job, but <laughs> to you it doesn't seem like anything, so just go for it. <laughs> I think I would just say don't knock until you try it. I think a lot of people are kind of a bit skeptical about it and they're like, am I an carer? Will this really help me? But like, I know I was like that because I mean, my mum's had MS longer than she's had me, so being a young carer was never it, it was just kind of what I did. But um, I've met some like really amazing people and it's just it's nice to know you've got a kind of support group. So it might be for you, but it might not. If you think you're a young carer or if, if you know someone, then you should definitely. Go young carers because they do offer a lot of support, especially if you struggle emotionally with your caring role, because they do offer really good support and especially one to one support as well as groups. The people who like work at young carers and stuff, they're genuinely like really nice people. Like they're 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 patient with you and they're care for you and just they're really nice. If you think that anybody could be a young carer or got any signs of it, do get them help because as a battle that they shouldn't be fighting alone. The autism strategy team in Stirling and Clickmanagshire are asking members of the public to help name a new Android app designed to help people with autism. The app has been created in partnership with Stirling University Computing Club and allows people with autism to input key information about their likes and dislikes and preferred means of communication. The team are looking for a name for the app that is unique, fun and memorable. The winner will receive a prize and official recognition at the launch of the app, which will take place at Ratlock Campus on the 23rd of April. Details of how to take part are on screen now or you can email suggestions to info at autismforthvalley.co.uk. And finally, Borestone Primary has had a special visit from the Voice UK contestant Laura Begley. The 23-year-old who comes from St Ninian's is a former pupil of the primary school and she performed some of her favourite tracks and answered questions at a special assembly. Laura made it to the knockout stages of the talent show and is now focusing on developing her music career. This has been news from Stirling Council.